Senator Lee, you discussed upward mobility in the speech you delivered um, today. Can you share your perspective on that? Yes. You know, individuals do best where government respects the boundaries of individuals and the boundaries of its own authority. We've got a federal government in Washington that has not done a good job at recognizing its own boundaries. And it has time and time again intruded upon the prerogatives of the people and of the states. We think that we can open up eco economic opportunities by doing things like eliminating the parent, uh, the parent tax penalty, by opening up the higher education accreditation process. We also think, uh, uh, with respect to another uh, uh, bill that I'm working on, that we can make it more possible for more Americans to afford a more affordable home if we open up the uh, process by which transportation projects are funded. Currently, uh, we pay a little over 18 cents per gallon uh, uh, in federal gasoline tax. I'd like to reduce that to uh, right around 4 cents per gallon and allow the states to collect the balance in gasoline tax revenue on their own. The states would then be free to use that money as they deem fit without people in Washington, bureaucrats, unelected officials in Washington, telling them how to use it. But more importantly, the states would be able to use that money without all the strings that come attached to it, without all the red tape that comes attached to it, the regulations that come attached to it. And they would be able to do more with less money. This is part of how we make things more affordable for the poor and the vulnerable and the middle class. This is part of how we uh, elevate people and we make it more possible for them to pursue the American dream. Uh, with respect to the anti-poverty component of the agenda, I, I think it's important that we look at the fact that in Utah uh, we, we have what has recently been recognized as perhaps the most upwardly mobile uh, community in the entire country in and around Salt Lake City. That exists in part because we've got a very responsible limited state government. We've got a thriving uh, free market uh, within the state. We've also got an effectively functioning voluntary civil society with a private uh, uh, welfare system operated by a number of religious institutions working together in conjunction with other civic organizations. What we need in America is more communities and uh, it's communities that we need, not community organizers. Community organizers are more focused on what government can do uh, by expanding. Communities recognize that they can operate effectively and efficiently without government interference, and that's what this reform agenda is all about.